everybody today i'm gonna play with my new palette from melt oh my goodness i love this as much as i'm trying to simplify my routine on a regular basis um every year during halloween i just allow myself to get something colorful and fun and this was my this year's pick as soon as i saw it i mean it's just <laughs> so fun I mean, I really cherish this. I love it. I got the makeup bag, uh, the mirror, and then I also got this lipstick. But I'm not going to use it today. It's going to be on another video. I just need to find a look that goes with that lipstick because it's too punchy. I couldn't figure out a way to combine it with the palette yet. This is not a first impression. I kind of have an idea about the formulas. Uh, it really didn't matter for me, the color story all that much. I knew it was going to be really colorful. But the formula is also impressed me. And I'll tell you all about it. So let's continue with the application. I only have two paint pots. One of them is Taylor Gray. I love this. Uh, but it is too cool toned right now. I don't feel like using that one. And Grom ground groundwork is i think a little bit more it looks cool toned but it also looks orange on me i'm not sure okay i'm going in with this not worth thinking too long okay my makeup station turned into a mess again i just don't know how to behave when i'm touching playing with makeup okay this is the color i'm gonna use I made my decision, I'm gonna stick with it. Groundwork Paint Pot. I was gonna use a MAC concealer palette, I changed my mind. Uh, anything that conceals and has a cream base works for me, to be honest. Was I supposed to do concealer underneath this? No, we'll be fine. I love this light taupey brown. Looks really weird right now, but it's okay. We will blend this. Now I'm gonna go into the concealer palette. For the change, go to my color. This is my color. Oh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Ooh. I love it! Perfect for work. Mm -hmm. I should take this out and start using it for work. Just press some shimmer on it, something simple, and then poof, you are ready. Two seconds. Honestly, you guys, this is a play makeup for me. I'm not wearing this kind of vibrant colors anymore, but I used to, and I still miss them. <laughs> I'm still like looking at this palette, and it puts a smile on my face. This is it. I think the formula in this palette, I'm going to use it for the third time today. The formula in this palette is very pleasant it's just uh the mattes are super i have nothing negative to say the shimmers are a little bit interesting they are really hardly pressed i couldn't even pick it up with my finger but when i went in with a brush it picked up really nice so it is a little bit interesting in comparison to what i was experiencing with melt for example this matte i dip in my brush but it's not exploding it's not too powder it i mean it's not powdery at all um but then the color impact is full on let's do this i'm gonna just press this in the crease i intentionally use this base because this color on its own over a white base or you know lighter base is just too vibrant to a point i don't feel comfortable I'm going to use this gray pencil from Urban Decay. It's called Smoke. Uh, and for my other eyeshadow, I don't want to go with the blue here. I'm going to actually use a gray from my Project Pan palette, which is Jizzy Art. I'm going to use a gray tone. This one. I'm going to use this gray. Yeah. Can't wait to focus on this palette. All mattes. For example, this busy art palette. I mean, I am just using it now, so I notice it now. It's too powdery. Okay. 
in comparison to other VZR palettes I have, this one feels a little different to me. The 35 pan palette, but it still blends awesome. I mean, look at that. Okay. I am hiding the teal a little bit, as you can see. Because otherwise it's just too vibrant and I don't know. I don't feel comfortable with these colors anymore. I mean, one part of me, you know, just want to buy colorful palettes. Um, because I'm not buying any nude palettes, that's for sure. I'm going to blend around the edges a little bit. I'm not going to go too much in because these eyeshadows blend like way too much. I'm going to leave my Bravo area empty. I usually set it later on once I place my eyeshadows because I have hooded eyelids and sometimes it's another touch for me to make them equal. Okay, I think this is fine. Now I'm going to use the shimmer shade. Actually, let's do two shimmer shades today. I'm going to use a Sigma brush. This is actually a flat concealer brush, but it works great with metallic eyeshadows F75. Now I am thinking that I should maybe combine two shades. This way I can also experience other colors a little bit. Now this is this greenish murky yellow. Let's see. I don't want to go too crazy with this color because this is literally one of the colors I don't like to use. Doesn't matter from which brand. It's not my type of yellow. Eh. But I mean, the color is okay. If you like this type of yellow, it's fine. It's performing great. It's just, I'm not really crazy about this kind of yellow. Uh, I'm going to top it with green anyways. Once it melts with the oils on my skin, it actually may look really nice. But without primer, without anything, literally, guys, I just go in with a brush, pick it up. There's no, like, powder explosion. This is the same thing. Um, the texture is really dry, but the impact on the eyelids is great. Now, I am going into the green. This formula surprised me a little bit. I don't know if it's a new thing, but literally now I feel like I can wear duochromes. Let's mash these together here. Not really crazy about that yellow. I just wanted to try two shimmers and they are pretty much consistent with each other. Okay. All right, everybody, let's continue with the face. I want to see how these colors will look with a little bit more concealed face. A little bit more. Who am I kidding? I'm going to go ham with it. I'm going to use a Maybelline concealer. This is multi-use concealer and let's continue with the face. I'm just going to smear this. I want like serious coverage. Mm -hmm. Serious coverage. I want to open up this area. I know this looks crazy. This looks crazy. Very crazy person. What are you doing? Anyways, uh, let's continue. <laughs> oh, I look incredible. Okay, now I'm gonna go into NYX concealer. I know, don't judge me. Bear with me concealer in medium. Don't judge me. This happens, honey. It's okay. No big deal. I just want to look like a human after this, you know? <laughs> okay. I look incredible. Okay, I'm going to use this uh, Fenty Beauty matchstick. 
mocha to shake this area hoping that it's working let's do this now we are going to smear this light shade using a flat brush i'm just as you can tell i don't have any particular agenda here i'm just doing whatever i see fit just thinning out the product first really that's not really big deal i'm just thinning out the product moving it this is not the blending portion just yet I don't want anything to be stark white. I just want a little bit more brightened um, center. Because it really makes a difference um, in my makeup. Okay. Okay. Let's do this area. It's early in the morning and there's a direct sunlight from this window, so I apologize. Things look a little interesting when the lighting is not right, of course. Uh, so I'm just blending with the e.l.f. brush. It is small, but it's very handy. Um, this is the actually putty primer applicator. The reason why I love Maybelline Skin Tint so much is because it covers my eight spots as well. I mean, I use two concealers and it's not doing the job. Um, so that thing is pretty amazing. And MAC concealer palette to figure out a way. I mean, even MAC concealers don't cover it. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Okay, I don't like this. I don't like this product as a concealer. I don't. Um, KVD Beauty Concealer is just so superior to any of these. Uh, it is gel based and I am hooked on it. But I also have all these other things. My only problem with that product, and it's a big problem, it leaks terribly. And it messes everything. The formula is so intense, it messes up everything. If it smears on other makeup, it, ugh, it's gross. I purchased something new from Melt. I love these sex foils. The, ugh, they are so good. So anyways, this is a brand new one. I wasn't going to use it today, but I am also so curious. I just want to try it. Okay, I just got a little bit. This is my favorite to apply liquid products. This is Sigma F15. Oh my goodness, it's like cotton candy. I'm just gonna apply this. I can't see anything. Should I apply? I mean, I see it on my. Oh, now I see it. Okay. It's so faint. I'm not loading my skin with this, but look at that sheen. It's so beautiful. I love them. It's like a little light for me, but I don't care. I'm just going to go for a very cool tone blush anyways, but I just can't tell yet if it is there. I'm going to use a cool tone blush from Ben Nye. This is very old. I don't even know the name anymore, but it's one of my favorite blushes. When it comes to cool tone pink. This though added so much to that cream blush. These products are incredible. Just, I can't stop buying them. Uh, I think up to Aura. I can't use any one of them. When I go to very darker colors, that's when I have a problem with the pump packaging because I just need tinsiest amount 
to add this bronzy glow to my skin and unfortunately I pump a little too much then things go wrong and this is my fourth one I these two colors I can just go with a full pump I don't care they are just right for my skin tone and they work amazing one of them is stargazer the other one is peaches and cream both shades I mean they look incredible I use them uh, as a base and I just usually go with a cream blush on top and it just this is my favorite finish it's not too much blush it's just glowy hint of color that's what I love this one is new it's fetish it's a little bit cool toned for me it doesn't even show up properly I mean obviously it is there but it's just very faint and this is my perfect luminizer I don't want too much glow I just want what's on your cheek you know what is it I want it to be just a little bit secretive okay but I want that healthy glow and usually this one uh, this is 10 lines it is a cool tone brown and I usually like to mix it with my moisturizer once this is fully blended it just gives this coppery sparkly tone the only problem is these darker shades um, I just need a little bit and sometimes pump works against me so I love them I think up to aura uh, the colors just work on my skin but when I am switching to darker shades to mix as a base uh, underneath the makeup I just need something like a doe food applicator I think I wish they had like a travel size or something that comes with a doe food applicator they are amazing products amazing I think one of them is definitely worth giving it a try I love these and I think these are gel based because they dry very fast and they also work great as a primer when I have these on my skin doesn't get too oily so I don't know what it is but they just work wonderful now let's continue with the lips I'm gonna use a Flormar product again this is something I discovered in Turkey I am in love with the brow pencil and uh, this is 203 subdued pink so let's beautiful texture It is subdued pink and these are made in Czech Republic the formula is incredible they just glide on uh, and they add so much volume to the lines I, I I can't tell like I think I got it for two dollars three dollars something like this it's like the NYX over there I, I can't believe how good it is I'm gonna top it with a lip gloss, Shantakai lip gloss, my favorite thing ever. Um, I'm gonna use the shade Modern. This is my favorite formula. Lip gloss, anything lip related, this is my favorite formula. I'm gonna use the Smashbox uh, face powder and the color is light medium. And I'm gonna apply this to the brow area to mattify and kind of re-blend I'm gonna do my brows my lashes and I'm gonna do an eyeliner also I'm gonna do this blue liner which is very old something I'm trying to finish anyways and I'll be right back to show you the finished look now together with the eyeliner I really enjoy this um, I feel comfortable with faint blush lip gloss there's nothing competing with each other I mean to me this is definitely doable I will switch I will switch this very sparkly metallic shade with something else on a regular basis but once in a while when I want to play with texture I really enjoy it I like this so the palette matte 
mattes are my favorite formula so far i use all the blues in this palette this is my third day applying this makeup this type of makeup uh the first time when i played with these colors i really like went into all the blues and they all worked incredible the shimmers though are a little bit different texture i never experienced this i couldn't swatch them first and i'm like oh my goodness what no but then when i go in with a flat synthetic brush uh, my sigma concealer brush works really good i mean i didn't wet my brush i'm not using any special sticky primers i just have my cream base either concealer or cream eyeshadow as usual and the color application is full on the only thing is once it starts blending with the oils on your eyelids the sparkles in it kind of start coming forward the eyeshadow looks more and more sparkly and because i'm not using any glitter primer any special primer like that i see some fallout on my face i wish there was like a matte orange or salmon color equivalent of this like bright like this ah oh, that would be incredible i mean the color story because it's a halloween release i'm not really that you know okay it's fun it's fun the lipstick I didn't want to incorporate it in this look because every time I use this palette I try to apply the lipstick as well and then I feel like everything is kind of clashing with each other because lipstick takes over this is such a punchy color you guys it is like henna on the lips on its own I love it but not with the palette I and no that's not for me it's just too retro i can't pull it anyways on its own though it is lovely it just reminds me so much of maybelline <laughs> superstay matte ink lip lips um matte <laughs> liquid lipstick oh my god i haven't slept all night so anyways um it reminds me so much of liquid lipsticks from Ma maybelline this color i have a do for this uh it is maybelline globetrotter i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching take great care of yourselves and i'll see you in the next video bye now